In 2008, Stuart Jew set the AFL Grand Final alight against the heavy favourites and reigning premiers Geelong, inspiring his team and ultimately burying Geelong in under five minutes of football. I'm Modal Soul Media and this is the Stuart Jew five minutes that helped Hawthorne win the 2008 Premiership. In the early 2000s, the Hawthorne Football Club was struggling, finishing 10th in 2002, 9th in 2003, and second last in 2004. This prompted a coaching change, seeing Alastair Clarkson come into the fold at the end of the 2004 season. While they didn't know it at the time, the Hawks just appointed a man who had become the best AFL coach in recent memory to help them go back up the ladder. At the end of the 2004 season, Clarkson was in charge of Hawthorne's rebuild most notably bringing in Lance Franklin and Jared Ruffhead into the picture. And before long, the Hawks finally made their way back up the ladder, reaching finals again in 2007. A young forward line firing with Franklin, Ruffhead and Williams, and emerging dominant mids Sam Mitchell and Luke Hodge making their presence known, the Hawks had all the makings of a future Premiership side. But there was still one missing piece to the puzzle. At the 2007 AFL Draft, the Hawks picked up a young Cyril Rioli at pick 12, Brendan Whitecross at pick 29, but come pick 45, Alastair Clarkson picked up Stuart Jew, a man who at the time was 28 years old, 10 years older than most of the people in that year's draft. A man who for that entire year in 2007 had not played any football at any level. Stuart Jew had previously played for Port Adelaide from 1997 to 2006, with his career highlight to that time being his 2004 Premiership win with the Power. Stuart Jew had retired at the end of the 2006 season, but after one year completely out of the game, he still nominated for the 2007 draft. This was such an unorthodox pick in the draft, but as it was a later pick, the risk level was much lower. Clarkson said that Stuart Jew's exceptional kicking was his reason for picking him up in the draft, hoping that he would add to Hawthorne's already impressive lineup. Perhaps the biggest obstacle for Jew was just that, his size. Early in the 2008 season, Stuart Jew injured his hamstring and missed a few games that year, and it didn't look like Jew was going to pan out for Hawthorne the way they would have liked. But come the 2008 final series, Stuart Jew was ready to go and his Hawks had made it all the way to the grand final. The Hawks faced Geelong, the reigning premier of the year before, coming off a record-breaking 119-point win in last year's grand final. They were the heavy favourites after having what many say was their best home and away season of that era. The match itself was excellent in the first half with less than a goal separating the two teams at either break. If you want to check out a great video on how Hawthorne exactly dismantled Geelong that day, I suggest checking out Footy A to Z's video on Clarkson's cluster. Geelong had some poor set shot kicking, allowing the Hawks to stay in the game. And at the major break, the Hawks knew that Geelong were gettable. Enter Stuart Jew. With five minutes remaining in the third quarter, the Hawks led by just five points. Jew's size gave him a major advantage, outmarking James Kelly on the wing before sending the ball inside 50, where a crumbing Cyril Rioli gathered the ball and gold. Less than 30 seconds later, Jew's teammates lay an effective tackle on Harry Taylor, causing a turnover in Hawthorne's forward 50. Jew gathers the ball, spins around onto his left from 50 meters out, and spears the ball through the goals. Hawthorne now lead by 18 points. Another 30 seconds later, the ball heads into Hawthorne's forward 50 and Stuart Jew runs in to assist his teammate Mark Williams. Watch as Jew takes on and dances around three Geelong defenders before getting the ball back to Williams for a goal. That Geelong side had lost just one game in that home and away season and their defense had conceded by far the fewest points that year. And just like that, a bulky 28 year old man was tearing them up as the Hawks now led by 24. With all of the momentum, Hawthorne once again entered their forward 50, with Franklin contesting and gathering the ball, dishing it off to Jew, 40 metres out. Jew has to snap the ball through, and there was no way he was missing. Jew sent the ball through for another goal. This man could not be stopped, as the Hawks were now up by 30 points. And you could tell Clarkson was thinking, yeah, I made the right call picking up Jew in the draft. The third quarter is often referred to as the Premiership quarter, as this is when teams often break the game open and make their move in the match. This truly was the Premiership quarter from Stuart Jew, with two goal assists 
and two goals of his own in less than five minutes of play on the biggest stage of them all. The Hawks then steadily finished off the final quarter, winning the grand final by 26 points. The heavy favourite had been toppled by the heavy hero. While Stuart Jew did not win the Norm Smith of that match, his heroics will live on forever. Stuart Jew then retired after an injury interrupted 2009 season, finishing his career with two premierships and perhaps the best five minute span in football history. I've been Modal Soul Media. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to like and subscribe. Peace out.